In the heart of the city which gave us the greatest band of them all is the underground cellar where it all began. There are places I remember all my life, though some have changed. It was a sweaty place, you know, but that's what rock and roll was about in those days. You know, that's why we loved it. Completing the classic early Cavern era Beatles lineup of John, Paul, George, and Pete. Mean, moody, magnificent. Pete Best. He was moody, he didn't speak, he didn't ever say anything. He was just shy, wasn't he? He yeah. shy. He sort of looked down under his eyes at you and always lovely. <laughs> yeah. In those days, I had to crank out a solid beat. If the girls were trying to make me smile, you know, it was. I had my head down, I'm concentrating on what I'm doing. Now and again, I give a little grin. A special bond was formed between the four Beatles and the teenagers paying to see them. And from early 1962, with an ambitious new manager at the helm, life for the Beatles started to change in more ways than one. When you look back, they were nice suits. They weren't the glitzy, gold army things that, you know, people were wearing. They were dark blue, mohair, nice cut on them, you know, white shirts, black tie. So, yeah, we looked dapper. Just a bombshell being dropped on me, basically, no forewarning. Um, called into, you know, Epi's office. Um, he wasn't a no, normal, cool, calm, placid Brian. Um, because I'd had meetings with Brian before, I'd handled the business side of things, and I just thought, OK, it's another brain-picking session. You know, here we go. You know, what's it like playing for this promoter? Should we put the price up? The usual stuff. Um, we walked in, happy as Larry. Brian was a little bit apprehensive and talked around the subject for a while and then he just said, Pete, I've got bad news for you. Don't really know how to turn around and tell you. The boys want you out and it's already been arranged that Ringo would join the band on Saturday. And that was the bombshell. After two years and more than a thousand shows in Hamburg and Liverpool, Pete Best was out and Ringo Starr from Rory Storm and the Hurricanes was in. And I accepted it, and it was only really when I got back home again that the reality of the situation hit me. Good God, I'm no longer with the band. As to the reason why, there are many well-worn theories, from jealousy of Pete's female following, to his not adopting the Beatles' haircut, to his quietness on stage. There's that many conspiracy theories over it. I stopped worrying about it many, many years ago, you know. Life goes on. If you keep looking back over your shoulder all the time, then you, you know, you will end up bitter and twisted. But there's more to life than that, you know. Yeah, it happened. But taking on the chin and get on with your life. <laughs>